We, you know, we got Tyshawn Darlington coming to the ring. I'm loving this. We here at the Archive AAWA. Juneteenth is over, but we are still celebrating freedom every day here in the USA. That was a quick one. Tyshawn Darlington, all business. 6'1", 226. Tyshawn Darlington against the big motor. The man from Detroit, Danny Oder. 3.30, the big boy. Thirty minutes, one fall. Frank Eckerson. This should be a good match, ladies and gentlemen. Ben, Danny Oda versus Tyshawn Darlington, two powerhouses, respectively. Now, of course, Danny Oda has some weight on Tyshawn Darlington, but Tyshawn Darlington is a lot stronger than you would think. And you know, when you look at him, you already think he's pretty strong. Look at this, winning the test of strength against Danny Oda, but Danny Oda quick. Pushes that man again. Falls with a knee. Now right here, smart move by Tyshawn Darlington. And you see Danny Oda's a smart man. He's a big man. He's not going to do a lot of running attacks unless he knows he's going to hit. Because running attacks takes a lot of stamina. But he will throw you to the ropes to use your stamina. And he'll be standing right there when you come back. Look at this. And that's good for a big man. He doesn't use a lot of stamina. You know, that way he can do a reversal like that because you've been running a lot more than him. Goes for a sledgehammer there, knocks him down, and always follows up with a move you can't refute. Maybe a stomp. In this case, a double knee to the back. Danny Oder went for a kitchen sink there. No thank you, says Tyshawn Darlington. Now, Tyshawn Darlington, what he wants to do here is slow this match up because Danny Oder is in a rhythm right now with his rap. So you want to kind of take control of this matchup. You're already kind of down. So it won't hurt you to take a step back and kind of rethink what you're doing. Don't let this man who's up make you walk into him like you got a magnet stuck in your chest. That's the bad way to look into a fight. You know, and I see right there, he should have took a step back and catch a breath right here. It's a good movement. Now, when you're a baby face, you have the ability to step back and take a breath, whereas a heel will have to kind of chase you down, you know, and kind of do something to you while you're outside the ring. But as a baby face, you know, you want to keep it in the ring. So stay in the ring, catch your breath. It makes your opponent have to get in the ring and, and deal with you because he sees you kind of recovering, even if he doesn't want to come to you. And the further away you are from him, the more time you get to recover. Danny Oda chases that man down. So when he gets up, he still has to come to you. And while he's coming to you, you're still recovering. Now, in this case, Danny Oda did two running attacks. So I probably would have came a little bit, try to close the gap before Danny Oda recovers this much because he's a big man. Big men are usually power hitters. Power hitters can't run 15 minutes of a match unless you're letting them take a, a big advantage of it. Usually they get gassed within the first 10. Uh, and that's what you want to do to kind of control that matchup against a big man. You kind of want to gas him a bit. That way he doesn't have the stamina to do a lot of the power moves, the power bombs. The big power drivers, the moves where he has to lift you up. He's too gassed. So when you get a big man down, beginning of the match, any man, honestly, you want to work on him, you throw him down and hit him with a, a big stomp to the chest, something to get his energy down, make him get up. And then as the match goes on, you want to wear him down. Uh-oh, look at this. Tyshawn Darlington with some athletics here. Breaks it up. Nice drop kick there. And this is where you want to kind of like work the leg or something. Or if he gets up quickly, that's where you turn. You know, you do a move like that. You know, a move that's impressive. The crowd goes for it. You give them, you give them a little bit. You give, give the crowd a little bit. They pay ticket money for it. You don't just turn out of the blue. You ain't do nothing yet, you know. There you go. There you give the crowd some. There you go. Big man gets up. He's frustrated. He's going to come to you. There you go. Work him back with the kick. Smart man, you know. Now, you want to hold that breathing as long as you can as he's walking to you so you don't give that kick away. Then when that kick comes, you got to know that distance. So you want to snap that out real quick because you know the distance of your moves. So you know exactly when you want to hit it. Smart move by the big man. And he dodges out the way. Lets you mess it up. Hits you with a couple in the corner because you're in the post now. Got to have that ring awareness. Know where you are at all times. If you don't have to run to him, don't run to him. Or run and stop. Give him a fake. Nice kick there. 
knowing your distance. That's what you want to do. Now he got you. Backslam is going to slow you down again, big man. Now he's on top of you because you've already gassed about halfway of your stamina. So you're not going to put up much of a fight for this punch to the face here. And he's going he's gonna to wear for three, you know. He's got five seconds, so the longer he goes, the better. Those are free hits, you know. So you definitely want to be spinning that direction pad as soon as you see a man look like he's about to mount you. You know, be working that get me out of this submission. As soon as he looks like he's putting you in one. That's good. There you go. No, don't if you go, don't catch a breath that that close to him. You don't want to breathe that close to him. The thing about breathing is you want to be able to breathe. So the further you are, it gives you the longer chance to breathe. The closer you are, why even breathe? You know, why even do it? See? Because I'm reversing you. Because you ran back and you taunted twice instead of breathing. The one chance you did take to breathe, you breath, you breath right next to me, allowing me to stop it. And now you're back on defense where you don't want to be. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's good. That takes down the spirit. Admirable move. I, I'd have went for a hold, some kind of choke, but admirable move. I really got to get the time of that kitchen sink. I keep thinking he's going to grab him. Good pin here. Going to get a one count. Uh-huh. I'm right back on top of you. Now, because he's a big man, he's not going to do a lot of holds to you. Maybe one. Maybe two. You feel me? But he's going to definitely be dropping that weight on you, trying to get those power hits on you. Because he's going to get an A rating for every time he just just punches you. See right there? That's an A. Shoulder tackle. So I'm going to do it. Doesn't cost me any stamina. See? If it was a C, I'd think about it. But because it's an A, it doesn't cost me any stamina. Now I'm going to breathe in between taunts because you still got to get in the ring. GOJ on an A count. Nine. Okay. See, I restart the count. You wait all the way to the nine. Oh, go. There you go, big man. Catch your breath. There you go. Hold it. Don't just hold it. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit you with some power moves. You're going to need that breath. I'm going to tell you right now. Tyshawn Darlington has left the building. Big man still eating those kicks. Still got some stamina. Probably still about a half, you know. Once you get to about a third of stamina, those kicks will knock you down. But see, he's got enough to do this to you. Irish whips are definitely the way to go with the big man. You'll get dazed. Big Irish, look at that. I'm gonna hook him. Ooh, Tyshawn Darlington might be dead. That might be it. The big motor, Danny Oder. Yeah, definitely work on your breathing techniques. That's what's going to help you for the reversals, especially deeper into these matches. You got the torrent game down, but you definitely want to work on that. Hit him with the broken motor. GG's. My man Tyshawn Darlington. He's going back to the lab right now. He's got a championship match to train for. My man's got a lot to think.